Welcome to another Eagler Engine tutorial. This one's on a Penrose staircase. It's an optical illusion, so the staircase goes around in a circle, but it goes down, 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 and then down to the start again. So it's a strange shape to draw. I've seen a lot of people drawing these with pencil and paper on YouTube, but I haven't seen many in Illustrator, probably because it's quite difficult to do. So you need to have a decent understanding of Illustrator to start this. Um, if you want that, then look at my other tutorials, the introductions to Illustrator. But if you know what you're doing, then please follow along. Um, select the color palette that you want, and then the artboard can be any size you like. Um, so what we're gonna start with is a rectangle. We're just gonna hold down shift and draw ourselves a square. And press V, and we're gonna rotate it, holding shift 45 degrees. And then press V in your Pathfinder and Unite. And it just resets the bounding box. So you can just squash this shape down till it looks about right, similar to sort of that step there. Now what we wanna do, we wanna replicate this five times, but exactly on the end. <clears throat> so we want it to move onto this end. So if we hold down Alt and click and drag with V, then we're gonna move it along. And I can see my intersect because I've got my smart guides on. If you can't see that, you wanna to go to view, smart guides, and also click snap to point. Those are the two that I have on. Now, because we've done it once in the exact right spot, the um, command Y, you can see the outlines. We're gonna just hit command D, three, four, five, three times. So this gives us five shapes, five steps. I'm just going to color drop these. I'm going to select them with V and I'm going to color drop what I've already got in place. You can just do incremental colors. If you want to do grayscale, then just start with 5% black, 10%, 15, 20, 25%, that kind of thing. So I've just got these colors to make it a bit more interesting. You can always recolor at the end. Now we need to move them down to create our steps. Now, if you select these four and hit enter, uh, the move dialog box comes up. So horizontal, you want zero. Vertical, you want, depending on your scale, probably somewhere around 20, and that's okay. Now, we're gonna keep doing this. We'll rearrange the, the order. Um, but if you hit V, and just press Shift, click that one out of the way, then it deselects that one. It still keeps the other three selected. So hit Enter again, and it'll move it the same movement we did last time, so Enter again and deselect that one, press shift and click, enter, enter, shift, click, enter, enter, and that's it, we've got our movement. But you'll notice that they're not in the right order. So select these four and press command, shift, and the right hand square bracket, that brings the front. Again, use that shortcut, shift, click, and shift, right square bracket, shift, click, command, shift, right square bracket, shift, click, Command square, command shift, right square bracket, mouthful. So there we've got our steps going down. And we want to do the same process with this one, going across. So we're going to intersect there. I'm going to command D three times. And we're going to read color. That one is not exactly that color, it's just a little bit lighter, so they don't look the same. So let's just color these using the eye drop tool and then we need to move them down again hit enter and we don't want that horizontal movement right. yeah so i don't know why it went back to different dimensions but it's the same again vertical down time. hit ok shift click that one enter enter shift click that one enter enter shift click that one enter enter and then we're going to do the same thing using the the left square bracket, oh no, sorry. Click. And I go to the back, so I'm trying to send them to the back and then up one. So we send it to the back. Command shift, left square bracket goes to the back, and then let go of shift and just right square bracket and bring it up. 
there we go, we're going down the steps, down the steps, and we want to do it this way, but this time only twice. So once I've done it once, just Command D, it does it again. Let's hit the Enter again, and let's save the details. These might be slightly different, so they might not be 20, but we're going to tweak these in a second. So let's have a look. Shift, Shift. And we want to see where we're up to here. So let's drag this one across. So there we are. So we need to make this slightly bigger. So this is where it just becomes a bit more of a visual than an actual measurement. So we just want to play around with these until we've got equal spacings between there, 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 and there. So that kind of looks about right. Yeah, okay. And now all we need to do is draw the sides. And using the pen tool, we can start here on the anchor point, drag it down. In fact, we'll go the other way, we'll drag it across. Up, across, up. to wherever you like, wait till that lines up, and then complete the shape. And you see the little circle, move it up a bit. There we go, that's about that. Turn that then. Pen tool, cross, up, move the shape, and down, hold down, shift if you want to stay in a straight line. There, and over, wait till you see the circle, and complete the shape, color drop. Now we're going to draw this internal shape here, so it's not an ear head all the way down to there, across to there, there, there. Send them to the back and up one. shapes down the back until they're in the right spot. So there you go. And then all we need is just one extra little step in here. The darkest blue. And then once you've done that we can just recolor these last shapes. And that is how you draw the Penrose Staircase in Illustrator. If that was useful, please press like or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.